A seven-night luxury cruise aboard Paul Gauguin is another option you can make on vacation in French Polynesia. But the question is, is it really worth it? You're Rana Travelers. In this video, I'm going to show you what to expect on Paul Gauguin's seven-night cruise to Tahiti and Society Islands. This trip takes you through the exotic islands of French Polynesia, including the honeymoon island, Bora Bora. I will include tips and recommend excursions that will make your trip memorable. But the most important takeaway from this video is, is cruising in French Polynesia really worth it? Or is it better just to stay in a resort and book an overwater bungalow? Let's get started. To help you decide if cruising is worth your time and money, let me show you some benefits. One thing you have to keep in mind though is that a vacation in French Polynesia is much more expensive than other island destinations like Hawaii or other Caribbean countries or islands. That's why people call it a dream destination because the cost of travel for some will probably remain a dream. It is an expensive vacation whether you book a cruise or stay in a resort. But here are a few perks of cruising. Number 1. You will be able to visit multiple gorgeous islands in one trip. For example, the Seven Nights Cruise Tahiti and Society Islands, you can visit four islands. You can of course do island hopping during your trip and visit the same islands, but it will definitely break the bank for most of us. Number 2. It is an all-inclusive accommodation. With Paul Gauguin, your fare includes a fairly spacious accommodation, all shipboard meals, and complimentary beverages including expensive wines and spirits and onboard entertainment. The ship features three dining options, L'Etoile, La Veranda, and Le Grill. The food is gourmet and tastes so good. I mean, this is one of the highlights during the trip. Third, the breathtaking ports of gold capture what French Polynesia truly is. With emerald green mountains, pristine blue lagoons, stunning biodiversity, and magical views from every turn, the islands of French Polynesia are truly something to behold. Enjoy an exciting excursion such as snorkeling, safari excursions, hiking, jet skiing, and even aquacycling at each port of gold to truly feel the islands. And finally, cruising is an affordable way to spend your vacation in French Polynesia. From what I mentioned above, except for excursions, everything is included. So you can see it is an affordable alternative to staying in an overwater bungalow. If you are still not convinced, then maybe showing you the breathtaking ports of goals might. There are four islands you can explore during the seven night cruise to Tahiti and the Society Islands. Huahini, Taha'a, Borobora, and Mo'oreya. The first port of call is Huahini, commonly named Garden Island. You will see it as soon as the boat enters the lagoon. The hills are green in color because of the lush vegetation. The island resembles the early days of French Polynesia. It looks untouched. If you go inland or in the village, you will notice its rugged terrain and its immense tropical jungle flourishing with coconut plantations, banana plantations, and breadfruit trees. Most of the excursions in Huahini is typical for other islands like lagoon cruise, motu picnic, and snorkeling. If you do not want to book an excursion, then you can visit the main village for free by riding a bus they call Le Trap, which you can ride from the tender boat drop-off. The bus will take you to the village. That's about 45 minutes, if I'm not mistaken. It is a scenic ride and at times a bumpy one. The bus transports guests through a jungle while you pass lush vegetation and numerous Tahitian homes along the way. At the main village, you can stroll around town. You will see small vendors selling Tahitian souvenirs along the main road. By the way, I bought a hat at one of the souvenir shops and it was quite cheap, $12 to be exact. You can also visit the only supermarket on the island that sells from food to carpentry related items. The next port of call is Taha'a. 
The island is only 17 miles from Bora Bora. You can see a silhouette of Bora Bora from Taha. As for me, the excursion you don't want to miss is the Coral Gardens Drift Snorkeling. It's the best snorkeling experience in all of French Polynesia and I could say that it could be the best snorkeling spot in the entire world. It is a pretty relaxing activity while you enjoy the beautiful life in the water. Colorful corals and beautiful tropical fish are what you're going to see. I highly recommend this tour. It is worth every penny. I made a separate video about Taha's Coral Garden and if you want to watch it, the link is in the description below. The highlight of the day will be spent at Motu Mahana, Paul Gugan's private South Seas Island where you do whatever you want, snorkeling, kayaking, swimming, simply relaxing on your lounge chairs or treat yourself to an overwater massage. If you feel you need a drink, you can get one at the floating bar near the shore where you can order cocktails and non-alcoholic beverages. And do not forget to quench your thirst with fresh coconut water which is offered to all guests for free. And when it's time for lunch, delight in a sumptuous barbecue feast from freshly cooked fish, chicken, and beef. That you call up when, you're down. When, when you think about French Polynesia, the first thing that comes to mind is the honeymooner's paradise, the jewel of the South Seas, Bora Bora, which is the next port of call. Who doesn't want to visit this breathtaking island? The best thing about cruising with Paul Gauguin is that you can enjoy Bora Bora for two days. Undoubtedly one of the most celebrated islands in the South Pacific, Bora Bora is immediately recognizable by Mount Utumanu, surrounded by warm and clear turquoise lagoon. Bora Bora is one of the few places on earth that everyone hopes to witness in their lifetime at least once. One thing to keep in mind is that the ship is anchored in the lagoon but it is not near where the overwater bungalows can easily be seen. It is anchored near the pier in Vaitapi village. There are many things you can do in Bora Bora but I highly recommend two things. One, visit the main island, rent a scooter or a car or this cute little electric vehicle Tweezy and tour around the island. Going around the island is pretty scenic. You can see the beautiful overwater bungalows on its own motus as you travel. You can also visit the most popular restaurant Bloody Mary's and see the names of famous people who have visited the restaurant. Also visit the stores of the largest village Vaitape and maybe buy some souvenirs or why not buy a black pearl necklace for the love of your life. But my must-do recommendation in Bora Bora is to book a lagoon cruise and Polynesian feast excursion. This is not a cheap excursion but worth every penny. Your guide will take you to a shallow water where the adorable stingrays are located. The rays are tame, so you can gently touch them. Mixed with the rays are sharks circling around people but don't worry they are docile. If you go near the sharks, they will swim away. Your guide will also take you to the coral garden where you will be surrounded by thousands of fish as you snorkel around the garden. In the middle of the coral garden, there are two huge eels that make the garden their home. Your guide will try to lure the eels with fish to come up near the surface and you will have a chance of touching these beautiful creatures. After hours of enjoying life in Bora Bora's water, your guide will take you on a private island or motu. Polynesia lunch will be served, but before the lunch, guests will be shown how Polynesians traditionally cook their meals. For great memories, please do not forget to bring underwater camera like GoPro. It is highly recommended for this excursion. I also made a separate video about what you can do in Bora Bora. The link is in the description as well. The last port of call before heading back to Papiti is the magical Mooreya. Ship will be anchored in Upunuhu Bay and guests have two days to explore the island. 
If I am given the chance to stay in French Polynesia, I will stay in Moorea. Due to its laid-back island vibe, a short boat ride from Tahiti, lush landscape, spectacular mountain peaks, and beautiful turquoise lagoons. As I always recommend, touring around the island with a scooter is one of the fun things to do in Moorea. Moorea is a bigger island compared to Bora Bora. It takes about 3 hours to go around the island or more than 4 hours if you take frequent stops to explore beautiful spots or visit some of the gorgeous hotels on the island like Sofitel and Hilton Moorea. Just a reminder, when you cruise during a rainy season, it could rain and that's what happened to us. We were on our scooters and it rained so hard we were soaked. We ended our island tour prematurely because it was so cold that I shivered. Another option is to rent an ATV and go up to Belvedere. But a great way to get rid of some calories is to rent an e-bike. Food in a boat is so good and make no mistake, at the end of the cruise, you will gain weight. There, I said it. But yes, riding an e-bike to the Belvedere is a great way, especially when you got kids with you assuming they can ride a bicycle. We had a tour guide with us and along the way to the Belvedere she showed us Morea's mountain peaks, took us to a historical spot, an ancient stone temple called Titiroa Mare, and brought us to one of Morea's pineapple fields. I also made a separate video about what to do in Moorea, and the link is also in the description section. After two days in Moorea, Paul Gugan heads back to Papiti for guest disembarkation. I hope this video will give you an idea about cruising in French Polynesia. The question whether is it really worth it? In a heartbeat, I will say yes. I hope you will find cruising a great option when vacationing in this gorgeous place called French Polynesia. If you want to watch a complete ship tour of Paul Gauguin, click the thumbnail. Until next time travelers, Maruru 